Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. We're in Peggy's Cove today. There's a lot of lobster traps. I think some fishermen are planning to go out. The tide is crazy low. Usually this boardwalk that I'm on uh, is pretty high up, but you can see uh, it's gone down quite a bit. This is the lowest I'll have ever gone in the water here at Peggy's Cove. And I'm really excited to get in and see what's out there. Temperature's around four degrees Celsius, but the water temperature is 14 degrees. So it should be able to last for a little bit. Hope you guys enjoy. That is cold, but it's nice.
we're out of the water now. I had to park my car up at the parking lot uh, because they are doing construction on the road here. I haven't seen construction on this road probably ever. They're building like a retaining wall over there and they've torn up the road. Just makes it a little harder today to get all my stuff, but I organized all my bottles already and they're sitting on the dock. Yeah, that was cold. I was in the water for about an hour and my toes are so cold. But I'm excited to show you guys what I got. So let's go down this plank again and let's see, I'll show you what I have. All right, so here's all the finds from today. I spent some time organizing it before I went up and got changed. We've got some seven up bottles here. Um, I've got this one. I'm really uh, intrigued by the color of this one. It's like kind of blue on the top and then green on the bottom. It has the number five uh, embedded on the bottom. So that is pretty interesting. I don't know what company made it, but if you know, leave me a comment below. Uh, we've got a couple 7-Up bottles. This one says uh, Bounce on it. Not sure what that what's, what's for. Got a newer Heineken bottle down there. Uh, and then some larger beer bottles. Then on to the clear glass. There's lots of Canada dry bottles. This broken uh, uh, jar. I don't know what this was used for. It says no return, 64 ounces on it. I've got some high cap soda, Nesbit. This bottle is interesting. It's not a older bottle, but it does have a cork on the, in the bottom of it. So uh, I just find that pretty peculiar. We've got this bottle here. It says Glide on it. Just an interesting preserving jar. I'm gonna look that up when I get home, see if I can find anything on it. Then, this is probably my best find of today. This says Raleigh's trademark. I don't know what this was for. Um, so I'm gonna figure out what this company was about and what they made, and uh, then I'll put it in the uh, description down below. Got some more Canada Dry bottles, mason jars, and then all these beer brown stubbies, uh, a Javex bottle, some some netting here, some pottery, and then we've got these uh, beautiful marbles here. My dad found a couple of these last time we were here together. Uh, this Maritime Museum of the Atlantic uh, tag here. Some pottery, a beautiful shell, then some plastic, some other gorgeous pottery, and then this thing here. It looks like a like a like a nail. It's super heavy. Uh, I don't know if it's like a rock or it's made of metal. I find it just really interesting. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, today's video I really appreciate it and uh, if you like the video hit the like button and if you're not a subscriber I would appreciate if you guys could subscribe sorry just uh, getting warmed up here I hope you guys have a good day or night wherever you are in the world and uh, just want to send a lot of love from Peggy's Cove Nova Scotia <laughs>